Hi everyone, welcome to the Alchemy Scope. So this has been wanting to come forward for quite a while, but here we are at the very end of 2014 and it couldn't wait any longer. It, it was really calling to come forward. So there was one intention when this came to me months ago, there was one intention of bringing forward this particular new moon Alchemy Scope for the signs which is to provide you tools and information that will help support your journey of your soul's maturation and evolution process that's underway. Because it is underway rapidly and um, we're needing as much uh, support as we can get. So this is intended to support your journey wholly. So there are six components to every new moon alchemy scope that's going to be coming out. One is uh, the symbology. We're going to look on the macrocosmic scale, on a general scale for the collective, what, what symbology is imbued at the degree point for the new moon that's informing this next 30-day cycle. Then on the microcosmic scale, I'm going to throw the I Ching for you, and we're going to look at your particular theme that's going to be playing out, and what's going to be being called forward within you to grow and mature. And then I'm going to do a spread. I'm either going to use the Brawl to Lay deck or I'm going to use a deck of 144 card deck that I created called, I call it the Siri deck. So I'm going to either use the Brawl to Lay or the Siri deck to pull uh, some information about um, an event or situation that might emerge for you this month that will that your soul has called forward for you to grow and mature through. And then um, we're going to look at the archetypes. I'm going to pull from the Carolyn Miss archetype deck and we're going to find out which archetype, which archetypal qualities are wanting to uh, come through you, evolve through you this month, um, mature essentially. And then we're going to pull an Ascended Masters card for support from Doreen Virtue's deck. And finally, I'm going to provide you um, a Dakini uh, from Penny Slinger's 64 Dakini Oracle. And um, they're quite powerful and there's a lot of information. So I'm going to provide a link at the end of the video where you can go and access the information because it's something you want to sit and read with. Um, excuse me, you want to read through and then you want to work with because uh, there are affirmations and rituals and stuff that Penny recommends. And I find them quite powerful. This is goddess energy. This is uh, archetypal energy. This is themed energy. So the Dakini will provide you um, a theme to dive into in the coming 30 days that will serve your growth. Okay? So let's get started on the individual signs. So let's talk about the macrocosmic cycle that's unfolding with this new moon. The Sabian symbol that's imbued at zero degrees Sagittarius, which is the new moon point happening on November 22nd and informing our next 30-day cycle, is Retired Army veterans gather to reawaken old memories. Now, this is an important period of time that we're walking through right now. This particular new moon is the second of three consecutive new moons happening at the zero degree point. October 23rd had it at zero degrees Scorpio. Next month, we have it at zero degrees Capricorn on December 22nd. So we're in the middle of a portal time frame right now that is quite powerful. Zero is the alpha and the omega. Zero is beginnings and endings. Zero is potentiality. It is your pure empowerment. So this is a big, big time. It's the, uh, it's no number, yet it is the container for all. It is the fool in the tarot. This is pure potentiality. This is activation of your truest, highest self. This is about activating and actualizing your soul print, everyone. So this new moon is fascinating because it is happening in Sagittarius. Sagittarius represents 
higher mind, optimism, journeying forward, freedom, um, expansion, adventure. And the fact that the symbol that's imbued with this new moon is about, um, you know, coming together post-war. <laughs> and a lot of us have been through a lot of difficulties over the course of the last year or many years recently as systems start collapsing and we're really being called to become our full and whole selves we're being called to really look back and see what has worked what hasn't worked um, what has served us what do we want to rebuild anew what do we need to let go of so at this new moon it's the um the duality of both and where we're looking forward yet we're having to look back. So that's pretty powerful stuff. And for me, that's about extracting what it is that worked, letting go what didn't, and moving forward into the new self, the new whole self. So this is really a beautiful time. So let's go into each sign and look at what your, what event or situation might be influencing you this month. So Pisces, let's take a look at your micro cycle unfolding now for you. I went ahead and threw the coins to create your I Ching hexagram. A note that I did this off camera in a separate ritual as I did for the other signs as well, simply because it can be a bit time consuming to do it on camera. Um, and the other note I wanted to say is I'm using the language from the visionary I Ching the language was developed by Paul O'Brien. However, this is the ancient I Ching divination system. Nothing has changed. The hexagrams and the meanings are the same. So this is um, just more resonant modern day language. So you received 15 humility for this time frame. Let me read a bit about what it says. Humility is always rewarded in human affairs just as valleys are filled by the erosion of great mountains. It is the way of the universe to fill the empty cup and to empty the full. Regar regardless of your position, humility is a positive and deceptively powerful attribute. If you are in a high position but are still humble, people will be drawn to you and the causes you espouse. If your position is lowly, humility will endear you to those of higher status. True humility is a virtue to which all should aspire. The most successful people are those who know how to bring each situation into balance by reducing that which is too great and adding to that which is too little. Such a person, person craves not power, but balanced and stable relationships. Humility is a virtue that allows you to perceive the balancing force in each situation. Humble people are not prey to the many illusions which grow out of self-importance. If humility is not natural to your disposition, make a conscious effort to develop a strain of self-effacing humor. So um, the last point I'll just make a note of is that the hexagram humility uh, is comprised of two trigrams. The trigrams for you are the upper section, the upper trigram is earth, the lower trigram is mountain. So together, those create humility. So this is interesting. Let's see what else is coming up for you this month via the spreads and the cards. Hi, Pisces. So let's take a look at an event or a circumstance that might be emerging for you in the month of December for your growth. And these are, would be circumstances that you will have brought forward on your own to grow from. So I'm using the 144 card deck that I created. I call it the Siri deck. Um, the spread that I'm pulling is called a synchronic spread, which is a spread that um, I learned with the Brawl to Lay deck, which is another divination deck that I enjoy using as well and that I'll use also at another point on these alchemy scopes. So let's take a look at what's going on here. Interesting. Okay. All right. 
All right, so it looks like in the month of December, you're gonna be thinking about um, your dreams. You're gonna be thinking about what you want to create, what you're imagining, what you want to bring forward. Um, that's kind of the, the heart of the situation. So this is the center message. This is from the spiritual angle, the physical angle, the emotional angle, and the mental angle. And I'll show you the cards as we go along, at least most of them, probably not all of them. But um, so there's, it look, first of all, it looks like abundance is at play. And when we talk abundance, we're talking money, but we're also talking all sorts of abundance. Abundance, when it's flowing, comes in the form of possessions, it comes in the form of money, it comes in the form of love, relationships, fun, um, opportunities, jobs, creative projects, all kinds of things. So abundance is flowing. So it looks like you're wanting, you're needing sustenance, you're needing nurturance, you're needing food, literal food and, and metaphorical food. Um, and you're asking for that. So it looks like you're, there's going to be a, a situation or you're going to be going through a time in December where you're really asking spirit for abundance to flow. You need nurturance. You want it. You're asking for it. And you're wanting new things to show up for you. You're wanting new things to show up for you. Um, so you're really focused on that. It does look like in December you're actually really utilizing your mind. You're utilizing yourself to... Now, anybody that knows Ricky Gervais will laugh at this, yeah? I love this picture of him. <laughs> it cracks me up. Anyway, so he's, he's my thinking and thought card. And so you're going to be really imagining and using your mind, which is fantastic. So in December, that's going to be happening. Now, on a mental level, you are going to be thinking about the lessons that are playing out for you, and you're going to be looking again at an opportunity that might have emerged earlier for you. So you're going to be revisiting an opportunity that might have already come forward for you and that is wanting to come forward again. Or you're just thinking about it again. You're thinking about opportunities that were showing up or had shown up, and you're thinking about revisiting an old opportunity. And, and one that had gone away. So this was an opportunity that showed up that um, had gone away. And it, it probably had to do with a place far away, either overseas or someplace far from where you live. So it was another location from your home. And it was causing you confusion at the time. So this is pretty phenomenal, actually. This spread is pretty delicious. So you are reconsidering an opportunity that had showed up before that you were confused about, and you're thinking about it again. So very interesting. And this does look like it will meet, or it's aligned. Let me just say this. It's aligned that you're thinking about money and abundance flow at the same time that these thoughts about this opportunity, which had been eliminated, the fact that you're being reminded about this opportunity that had gone away or one that had come and you had were confused about and didn't take advantage of, it's quite likely that there's an alignment that will bring you the abundance you so seek with this opportunity. So you're going to be focused in December. How wonderful. Hi, Pisces. So what archetype what quality set wants to emerge through you this month? What wants to come through you, to evolve you, to grow you, to mature you? What is it? I can't wait to find out. So this is the Carolyn Miss Archetype card deck. She brings forward um, common archetypes that live within the collective psyche, that live within each of us. There are many, many archetypes that exist. And archetypes are imbued within living systems. I'll be talking more about this in future videos. Um, you have them within you too as well. So. so let's see what archetype is wanting to actually mature through you this month. Oh, okay. So let me read it first and then I'll show you the image. So this is Samaritan. The higher frequency manifestation of Samaritan is refines your capacity to help those you would prefer to ignore 
That's interesting. The shadow attributes are the lower frequency manifestations of Samaritan is exacting appreciation and recognition for the help you offer. Exacting appreciation and recognition for the help you offer. So this is, um, this is about being selfless. This is about being selfless is how I read that card about attending to those who, even though it's a tough job, you might prefer not to see them or deal with them. It's about being of help anyway. So, <clears throat> and really giving of yourself. And then, you know, and then the shadow attributes about moving from the point of, you know, kind of wanting or demanding appreciation. Um, so moving out of that and into selfless service, really. That's fantastic. It's very Piscean too. So it feels very aligned for you. And especially, especially this month, um, I would say, because we are kind of at a key point, key turning point now where we're neat, we're being required to actually step up to the plate in bigger and broader ways to really stretch our capacity to be, um, I don't know, our fully expressed selves in the world, but also of maximal service, right? So I was just shuffling the Ascended Masters deck because we want to see what Ascended Master has a special message or insight or support, uh, something that will bring you support for this month. And this popped out of the deck. This is Drink More Water, a shun, and I'll read from Doreen Virtue's um, book. I've gotten this card myself before. So this is a matter of taking care of yourself and really making sure you're hydrated, making sure your body is cared for. So drink more water. Let me read it from the book. Uh, okay. So this card comes to you as a sign that your body is thirsty for pure water. I mean, this is quite, this is the most literal of the cards, I would say. Symptoms such as fatigue, difficulty in concentrating, irritation, and excessive hunger, hunger, can actually be dehydration in disguise. Water helps you flush harsh energies and toxins that your sensitive body might otherwise absorb. Bless your water before drinking it. Look into Masari Emoto's work if you don't know it already. And give it, uh, bless your water before drinking it to give it, to give yourself a boost of positive energy. You can put crystals in your water too. I think I might be creating a video on that as well. Um, so yeah, this is about being near water as well. So you can get healing from bodies of water, lakes, oceans, rivers, that kind of thing. But you also want to consume water, okay? So wonderful. So let's see what else we have in store for you this month. So the last component to your December 2014 Alchemy Scope Pisces is your Dakini. Now, uh, this Dakini is coming forward for you to connect with her. There are qualities within her that she wants you to connect within yourself and outside of yourself as well. It depends on which Dakini is coming forward for which sign. You received a wonderful one, 24 Chi. Now, again, this comes from Penny Slinger's 64 Dakini Oracle. Let me read a little bit here to give you a taste. And then the full document, if you'd like to dive deeper, is um, in a link down below this video. So, Chi flows like water. She balances the inner fire. And her essence is the life force, the subtle air. She is the Dakini who chooses to be the vehicle of expression for the life energy known, as, known in Asia as Chi. She exemplifies mastery of the flow of energy in the physical form. Knowing this comes from alignment with subtle, invisible energies that are present in our own bodies and in all of nature. Chi literally means air, breath, steam, but is generally translated as energy flow or bioelectrical energy. Its nature is both spiritual and physical. Qi also carries with her the Chinese divinatory system known as the I Ching. The I Ching, the Book of Changes, has affinity with the Oracle, as they both employ a cycle of 64 energies. It describes the cyclic patterns of the Tao, the pathless path of Chinese mysticism. This portal pays homage to this great work. There is a direct connection between the I Ching that we pulled earlier, at least that divinatory system, 
and chi, the energy system that flows through all of living systems, which is what you got here. A deep portal that you're accessing this month, which feels rather juicy. So I am wishing you a fantastic December. And I look forward to talking to you again next month for the next Alchemy Scope. And a final note, uh, the products that I offer, the archetypal profile, the symbolic profile, holistic sessions, that all help people get clear on the archetypes, the symbols, and the, the general evolutionary trajectory their soul is encoded with, all of those services are available via gift certificate. So if you have family members or friends who you would love to give the gift of clarity this year to, I have um, wonderful, easy gift certificates that um, can provide some not only fun, but wonderful and kind of deep and meaningful gifts. So I invite you to go to the website and take a look. Links are below, and um, contact me with if you know if should you have any questions whatsoever. If you need clarity on what any of these items are, but uh, archetypal profile, symbolic profile, the combination of both, and the holistic sessions are wonderful offerings to help people really see various aspects of themselves very clearly, and this is just such a beautiful time to do that. All right. Happy holidays, everybody. Yeah.